So hello there, we have the first cocoons of Salmia Cynthia Ricini found in this little box here where I've placed some of the caterpillars that seem to be very much colored like yellow more than white. You see here, they started to begin to build their cocoon in between this cardboard piece and the plastic cover and one of them already made the cocoon here you can see probably in the, on, in the front of this cocoon a slight opening that's called the open mouse uh, poop ball cocoon where the, where the adult will come out and here's another caterpillar trying to build a structure also down here there is the one you see, they, we don't take them out because now this is difficult because when they start producing their silk filament, you shouldn't disturb them too much. So they have to begin uh, over and over with the building of the of the cocoon, and that uh, takes a lot of energy from them. As you know, the cocoon can be around half a gram to one gram, so that's a third of the body weight of the whole. Um, poop ball and so that's a lot of material they have to produce uh, to build their cocoon. The whole cocoon should be around uh, 3 gram, one of the adult uh, L5 stage uh, uh, larvae they are around 6 gram. We also waited some if you go and change to this German channel you will see some there but what we see here is they are a little bit behind with the development here in that cage. If we turn the GoPro camera a little bit we can probably show you this here. They are mostly uh, young L5 here, this one, all these are all L5 but the young ones you see they seem to be all these, uh, these spikes and spines seem to be closer together than uh, when you see an old one like this one here uh, they are more far away so they are like later they are like pumped up like a balloon of plastic uh, uh, material an elastic material that gets bigger and bigger and bigger so what we do here I have to go away for the next five days I'm not uh, I cannot care for them in this time so let's see whether we can organize something that you don't have to feed them every day that will be try already because we want to um, we want to keep them in a way that we don't have to care every day for them and uh, that's the method in with the glass jars here filled with water so the plant they don't dry out and they can eat them also if they are already some days old and we will of course now try to replace some of this uh, material with new material new plants and that's nice to pass Prunus, Lauro, Terrosus here. Also in winter time you find these nice twigs uh, that, that the caterpillars like so much. So you just can put them into this glass jar with water and they stay fresh here until the water is sucked up in the glass jar. So that can last about one week or so. Depends of course um, on the on the humidity in the box where you keep where you keep this caterpillars they look very nice here really so uh, let's see whether we can uh, exchange some of them and here you see that's a nice one here all are L5 stage already and of course waiting for more food 80% of all the feed of all the feed the, the caterpillars need, they need in the last stage. So that's the, a really big amount. And sometimes when you sitting next to a cage, you hear a kind of a ticking noise, like like this. That's the dropping of the fecal pellet of the caterpillar, so you know that they are eating a lot. So, four or five days we will have a look what happened to them. They are behind the others in around one week, I would say now.
So I think they need another mo a week more until they are in the pre pupa uh, stage where they start crawling around more actively and searching a nice place uh, for the building of the cuckoo. Thanks for watching.